Hello and welcome. My name is Babs. Welcome to my channel. This is a seated yoga class to improve shoulder range of motion, upper body range of motion, just to get some movement. I hope that you enjoy this practice. I am mainly making this for a lot of my patients who I care a lot about and that I want to have them continue to practice a home program and that this will be accessible for them. So if I know you, hello. If I don't know you, hello. And let's come to a comfortable seat onto our chair. It's helpful if you can find a chair that doesn't have arms so you can give yourself a little bit more movement. But if not, don't worry. You could do this at the edge of your bed, the edge of the couch. Um, no stress, just wherever you can find a comfortable seat, let's meet there. So let's start by placing our feet right underneath us. So a nice good base of support. Inch your way towards the edge of your seat so that you can really start to engage your core and your spine to sit up nice and tall. And then we'll begin this practice with a few slow deep breaths. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Letting your body settle in. One more time, in through the nose. Let it go out through the mouth. See if you can relax your shoulders down. Try not to hike them up during this practice. Really try to root them down Lengthen through your spine, feel the pressure of your bottom really rooted into the chair. And let's begin some neck circles. So slowly dropping the chin down, ear to shoulder, head falls back, other ear to other shoulder. Nice, slow, gentle neck rolls. Making sure you're breathing here. It's very common for us to hold our breath when we're doing exercise. So really just take it slow, do what feels good, leave what doesn't, and you've got this. Let's reverse the circle. Making your breath audible. So can you hear yourself breathing? Sometimes that helps to really Keep your focus there and just keep thinking about breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then come on back to center. Let's look over our shoulder. Then chin comes down towards the chest as your gaze comes up over the other shoulder. It's a little half moon. Just waking up the first part of our spine, first cervical vertebra. Getting a little bit into our second part of our spine, our thoracic vertebrae. And then coming back to neutral, take a breath in. Let it go. Another breath like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Now let's drop our right ear to our right shoulder. Make sure that that right shoulder isn't hiking up but stays down. Both shoulders really drawing down as the neck just slowly releases and relax. And then coming back up to the other side, left ear, left shoulder. Just breathing here, remembering to relax both shoulders, just a little neck stretch. And then come on back up. Wonderful. Let's begin some neck and shoulder circles. So bring shoulders up, back, and down. You can move the head around a little bit too. So don't be so stiff in the movement. You can maybe sway your arms a little bit if that's okay, or leaving them in your lap. Maybe rolling one shoulder and then the other. So just playing around, just moving nice and slow. Let's take five more. Excellent. 
Now let your arms be heavy by your sides for a little wrist stretch. So we're gonna pretend like we're trying to stamp our palms into the ground. So lift up through the fingertips. So it looks like this by the side. Taking a breath here. And then drop the fingertips down and then bring the fingertips back. So the fingertips are facing behind you, stretching the front part of your arm now. Great, and then come on and relax the hands. Now this video is okay for anybody who has had a stroke or an injury that has affected one side. So we're gonna use techniques that are active assistive. So your other hand, the arm that's working a little bit better, is going to help out the one that needs a little love. So we'll start by interlacing the hands. If you can't interlace, then just cup the hands. And we're gonna pretend that we're stirring a huge pot. So we're gonna slowly make circles, so stretching the arms. Inhale as you come forward, exhale as you come back and around. So remembering to let those shoulders relax, face is soft, you're just focusing on moving the arms, feeling a good stretch, and then reverse the circle. I like to picture in my mind that I'm stirring a huge batter of brownies because I love chocolate, so that makes me happy. So think about whatever you want to stir up. Just allowing a little bit of humor, a little bit of light into your practice. And then relax, good. And then we're gonna bring our thumbs towards our chin and then nice and slow straighten. So you can do this here where the hands come between the lap, between the legs, or you can come out so that they're shoulder height and bend. So inhale to straighten. Exhale, bend. So side view, you can come up to shoulder. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Take three more. Inhale, exhale. Wonderful, and then let the hands come down. Now keeping a nice interlace or the palms together or even holding on to the wrist of that arm that's not moving the best right now, whatever position feels good and secure. We're gonna inhale to lift the arms to either shoulder height or maybe higher if you can. And then exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Three more, inhale, exhale, maybe getting a little bit taller, a little bit longer through the arms, keeping the elbows straight. If you can, last one here, try to get up as high as you can without pain, so just feeling a stretch. Take a breath in, exhale, slowly release, relax, great job. Release the hands so that the arms are just in the lap. We're going to take one more stretch here. So interlacing the hands. We're going to straighten the arms again and we're going to pretend like we're chopping wood. So we're going to inhale, reach up over one shoulder and then exhale coming to the opposite hip. Inhale to lift, maybe getting the shoulders up or staying down low, whatever you can do today. Three more. Inhale, draw it up. Exhale, chopping it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chop. One more. Great. Now five times the other way. So inhale, lift. Exhale, chop. Inhale. Inhale, lift, exhale. I think I lost count, but let's do two more. 
One more, here we go. Fantastic, let your arms relax. Let's place palms down if you can. Taking a breath in and out here. And we're gonna slide that one hand forward and one hand back. So you're getting a little bit of rotation in through the spine. So seeing if you can just slide back and forth, getting a little bit of movement from the center of the body. can't do it with the arms, just keep the arms here and just tilt one side and the other. And then come on back. Let's place our hands back in our lap, whatever feels good. You can come back into your chair so you can relax back into the chair or the couch for our final breaths together, closing the eyes. Take a breath in, let it go, sending yourself love and gratitude and really thanking your body for doing this practice and know that if it was hard or easy, you can just keep practicing it and get better and better each time. And then we can blink open our eyes, we can place our palms together in our lap or at heart center and we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this helped. Please subscribe and comment below if you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.